Hey guys, it's Mr. Danish. Um, today we're going to learn how to uh, change uh, units uh, stats and um, it's actually quite simple, it's probably the easiest thing to do in the editor with triggers. Um, it's um, yeah, it's it's really easy, I'm going to show you now. You start by making a new trigger and you say um, no to display as objective, uh, on to trigger starting state and trigger looping no. And then you go make a new effect. You don't need a new condition for this one. Um, if you want it to be changed from the beginning, and then you choose uh, this one called change object name. And uh, let's say this man on the horse, it's me. So we set object and click it and check it by clicking go to object. And if it go to the object, it's correct. And you can't see what I'm typing, but I'm typing Mr. Danish one seven seven. And then uh, we can, um, if we want to um, change uh, more stats, we can create a new effect uh, and choose change object HP or change object attack. And uh, let's change the HP. Um, you have to choose what player it has, uh, it belongs to, and um, the quantity. Um, you have to remember it's it's uh, in addition to what it already has. And um, I chose the Genghis Khan uh, unit, and it has uh, 300. And then let's say we add with 200. Uh, you can't see it, but I've just written 200. And then we say set object, click it, and go to objects. Um, and it should work now. Yes, it's green. And new effect. Let's change the uh, attack. It's already um, 25, but let's say we want uh, 50. Um, so I type in 25, uh, and you still can't see it, and set object, Mandatum. click it, and then go to object. Yes, and it, that should be working. I um, like to do a trigger for each unit, but it's um, if you have a lot of triggers, your game in the long run can crash, uh, or well, that's my experience with it. So perhaps make one trigger for names, one trigger for HP, and one trigger for attack and then do all the effects in it. Uh, that's what I would do. Um, and then, uh, okay, anyways, let's say these are my guards, the two guys behind uh, behind me. Uh, so let's go change uh, their name from Samurai to uh, Guard. And we say um, you can do it on multiple objects at a time, but um, you have to click Set Objects and then draw a box like this by holding your uh, left mouse uh, thingy, <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called, and uh, then release it, and then I type in guard, and um, it should work, and yes it does, and we don't want to change anything else, because it's basically the same as what we just did on, on uh, Genghis Khan. Okay, let's go test and see if it works. Okay. Uh, this should Yay. be Mr. Danish 177, and it is, and it should be 500, and that's correct as well, and it should be 50 all in all, and that, if my math is correct, <laughs> should be uh, 50, and let's check if the guards have the Mandato. name changed, and yes, they do. Okay, uh, if you follow the, these steps, uh, you should be able to rename any Ready. unit uh, yes. in the game, and um, change the stats. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, quite easy, as you can see. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, that you will come and rate and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching.